Coursera today partners with top universities such as the University of Melbourne, National University of Singapore, in the US, Stanford, Princeton, Caltech, Yale, Columbia, Penn, and many others to offer free online courses. Um, I think it's amazing that if someone wakes up tomorrow morning and when they want to take a class from Melbourne or from Stanford or from Caltech, they can do so for free. So Coursera had started about a, what, nearly two years ago when at Stanford I had put one of my classes online. Um, I normally teach a 400 student Stanford class. When I put my class online, it reached an audience of 100,000 students. To put that number in context, for me to reach a comparable size audience, I would otherwise have had to teach at Stanford for 250 years. And the fact that the technology now exists for one professor to teach not just 100 students at a time, but 100,000, this really changes the implications of how we can give a great education to everyone. I think professors are excited to teach MOOCs for two reasons. First, we provide the tools to let a professor teach 100,000 students or 50,000 students at a time. I think most of us are educators joined our professions because we're very passionate about the topic and um, when you offer the professor the technology to teach such a huge audience the answer is often an enthusiastic yes. Um, the other reason many professors use our, use our platform is to improve the quality of education for the local on-campus students. The way many of them are doing this is by putting their on course content on the website. Um, professors can now send their on-campus students to watch the online content and this preserves the classroom time for much more engaging interactive activities. So right now at Stanford, rather than walking into a classroom to lecture at my students for an hour, I instead have my students watch the contents at home the night before and this leaves the classroom time for me to have much more fun, much deeper conversations with my students. So I think this is improving the quality of education for the hundreds of thousands out there that otherwise would not have access to our campuses, as well as for the smaller population that have access to our campuses, we are hopefully bringing up their access to a great education as well. One of the challenges with teaching a MOOC is that it is a lot of work and I don't want to minimize how much work it is. Um, I often tell people that if you've taught a class before at your university, to convert it to a MOOC is, is almost as if you were creating a brand new class from scratch. It turns out the mechanics of content creation is not that difficult, you know, to create a, say a six week class, you need 12 hours of lectures, which means you need to spend 24 hours in the recording studio and that'll be edited down to 12 hours of content. So it doesn't sound like a lot of work, but what is a lot of work is just the pedagogical work of thinking through what to teach, what order to present it, what are the homeworks and assessments, and um, teaching is just a lot of work. There are three things that I hope will happen in the future. First is that I want to connect everyone in the world to a great education. I think far too much today, your success on this planet is determined by the circumstances you're born into, the wealth of your parents. Um, by putting a great education online, I want everyone to have, to have a chance so that your success is determined by your hard work, your guts and your talent and not by the wealth of your parents. Um, Second, I think that the world is moving towards more blended learnings of instruction, where instead of having instructors lecture at students, we can instruct students better with a mix of online content, as well as in-person, much deeper engagement and mentoring. And with online content that Coursera is creating, I think we will accelerate the movement of the world to this um, blended modes of instruction, which I think will be much better for students. Third and finally, I think that today, education is still to some extent a um, anecdotal science and with an online ed platform like Coursera I think that over the last year Coursera our one website has collected more data on education than in the entire previous history of the entire field of education throughout human history um, with the data that we can collect every mouse click every homework every keystroke we know when you fast forward through a video we know what 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 uh, discussion forms there is you're reading or writing with that data I hope to make education a much more data-driven science and uh, do for education what companies like Google and Facebook and Amazon have done for electronic commerce. And um, I think we'll learn how to serve our students much better. Attending this conference was a lot of fun and I met many other like-minded educators uh, thinking through Coursera Thank MOOCs you. and how to take education into the future using the technology that we've now made available. So, 
those were a lot of very useful, uh, very interesting conversations.